Dear students, in this video, we are going to see about the microscopic features of small intestine, especially three slides, duodenum, jejunum and ileum. So first slide, what we are seeing here is the duodenum. So first basic four layers we have to see for basic four layers of GAT that is your mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa and serosa. So all the four layers are there. So it is one of the slide of GAT. Next finding the identification point for duodenum is the presence of villi. So these are all the surface projections of mucosa that is called as villi. So these are all the villi. So in duodenum we will be having more numbers of villi. So next if you see that so this is your mucosa. So already you know that mucosa means we will be having lining epithelium supported by a layer of connective tissue called as lamina propria then you will be having muscularis mucosa. So now these are all villi. Now another projection you are able to make out here in that includes submucosa also. So this projection what we see here is called as plica circularis. So that is the permanent mucosal fold present in the small intestine that increases the surface area. So the modification in small intestine to increase the surface area, one is your plica circularis that is the permanent mucosal fold. Another modification is the your surface projection called as villi. So these structures increases the surface area so you will be having more absorption so next if you see the lining epithelium so similar to stomach so simple columnar epithelium so here also we have simple columnar epithelium if you see that columnar cells there will be microvilli that also increases the surface area for better absorption so in addition to that regular columnar cells in between you can make out goblet cells so already we studied about it goblet cells are unicellular gland that secretes mucus so that here and there you can make out that goblet cells also in the lining epithelium so that is the feature of mucosa so we are able to make out numerous villi next if you see the submucosa the striking feature of submucosa in duodenum is presence of glands so these glands present in the submucosa are called as Brenner's glands. Brenner's glands. So that is the, the striking feature for duodenum. So we have to see for villi. If there is villi, next we have to see for submucosa. In the submucosa, you will be having mucus secreting glands. They are called as Brenner's glands or duodenal glands it is always called as Brenner's glands also. So in the identification we have to write this submucosa with Brenner's glands. Why do we have that Brenner's glands in the duodenum? Actually this secretes thick mucus with a high concentration of bicarbonate. So already you know that the chyme present in the stomach is already acidic in nature. So to neutralize that acidity here it secretes alkaline mucus that mucus will be very thick so this duct of the glands will open into the mucosa ultimately it will reach the lumen so that is the function of Brenner's glands in duodenum so the examiner will ask what are the function of Brenner's glands or why do you have Brenner's glands only in duodenum to neutralize the acid chyme so these two are the important striking feature of duodenum see for the villi Next, we see for the Brenner's glands in the submucosa. So here that Brenner's glands are extending upwards into the plica circular. So this projection is the plica circularis. That's why you are able to make out that extension of your Brenner's glands into the plica circular. Next, you can make out that aggregation of lymphatic nodule also, but rarely you can make out this. So already you know that the content of lamina propria where we will be having lymphocytes, diffusely, diffusely placed lymphocytes. So sometimes we can make out the nodule. So next you see, see next layer. So that is your muscularis externa. 
so already you know that inner circular and outer longitudinal your muscle coat is there next outer to that we have our serosa so it is serosa if it is that particular section is covered with peritoneum that will be serosa otherwise if you take the section in the anterior wall that is not covered by peritoneum so in that case it will be adventitia so these are the features of duodenum so to identify this slide of duodenum see for that basic four layers next see for the villi next concentrate on submucosa in the submucosa will be having brenner's glands so next so this is the picture of villi so clearly you are able to make out that projection of mucosa so the lining epithelium with lamina propria in the lamina propria you will be having your lymphocytes you can make out the blood vessels you can make out the your lymph vessels also so this is the lymph vessel present in the villi called as lacteal already you have studied in physiology so that is called as lacteal so next we will see about the slide of jejunum so the slide of jejunum so here also you have to see for all the four layers now this is the mucosa so this layer is the submucosa so this is your muscularis externa then outer to that will be having serosa so your duodenum is completely covered by peritoneum so you will be having only serosa so here in this slide also you are able to make out that plica circularis so already i told so the plica circularis is the permanent mucosal fold present in the small intestine so that increases the surface area next similar to your duodenum here also you are able to make out the villi so these are the surface projections of mucosa present in the jejunum so here if you see in between that columnar cells you are able to make out more numbers of goblet cells so here you will be having more numbers of goblet cells when compared to duodenum so duodenum also we have villi here also we have villi next in the lamina propria you can make out sometimes the lymphatic nodules okay now this is plica circular that's why you are able to make out that submucosa also next important point here see the submucosa here we have that routine content of submucosa that is it is made up of moderately dense connective tissue with blood vessels nerve plexus already you know that the nerve plexus present in the submucosa is the mesenesse plexus okay so you are not seeing any gland here so we don't have any gland here but if you see concentrate that lamina propria where you can make out small glands so these are all called as intestinal glands so intestinal glands are there in the lamina propria itself so that is different so that is called as intestinal glands what is the other name given to it already you have studied in physiology that is crypts of lebercon crypts of lebercon that you are able to make out in the lamina propria so it will be there in the duodenum also in the duodenum also we will be having that crypts of lebercon that is in the lamina propria but what you have in the submucosa of the duodenum is brenner's gland so that is different the crypts of lebercon present in the lamina propria is different so here also you are able to make out numerous glands in the lamina propria itself so that is called as intestinal gland or crypts of lebercon so already we studied in physiology what are the function of this glands what are all the cells lining it namely you will be having your goblet cells you will be having entero endocrine cells you will be having paneth cells as well as your goblet cells so these cells will be there in these intestinal glands so already you have studied about the function of all these cells so that is the feature of mucosa so you will be having villi so if you see that lining epithelium of villi so that is simple columnar epithelium similar to our duodenum but here we can make out more number of goblet cells among the your columnar epithelial cells next if you see the lamina propria you can make out that 
crypts of Lebercon that will be there in the duodenum also. So next see the submucosa. Here there is no Brenner's gland. So that is the another identification point of jejunum, negative identification point. So for identification of jejunum, first we have to see for all the four layers. So your mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa and serosa, all the four are there. Next we are seeing for the villi. So villi is there. Of course you are able to make out that plica circularis also. Next we see for the submucosa. So if you see the submucosa, there are no glands means that is the slide of jejunum. Then in the lining epithelium, there will be more number of goblet cells. Next, if you come out to the muscularis externa, same inner circular and outer longitudinal muscle coat you can make out. In between the muscle fibers, you can make out that myendrix plexus of nerve fibers. The same mesonous plexus will be there in the submucosa. Next, you will be having serosa. So that is the slide of jejunum. Next, if you go to the slide of ileum, so here also you can make out all the four layers of GIT, that is your mucosa, lamina propria, then your submucosa, then your muscularis externa and serosa. So the entire thing is your mucosa. So this is the lining epithelium, lamina propria, your muscularis mucosa. Next, this is your submucosa, then your muscularis externa, this is your serosa. Now, here in ileum, the striking feature, if you see the lamina propria, you can make out numerous lymphatic nodules. So, these are all lymphatic nodules present in the lamina propria. So, in the slide of your duodenum, I told there is chance for lymphatic nodule in the lamina propria like that in jejunum also but usually there won't be nodules but in ileum the striking feature identification point is presence of numerous lymphatic nodules they are called as Peyer's patches so they are called as Peyer's patches the examiner will ask what is it they are nothing but aggregation of lymphatic nodules so they are called as Peyer's patches now, if you see the villi, here the number of villi will be less. It will be small in size also if you compare to your jejunum and duodenum. The number of villi will be less. The size will be small when compared to the jejunum and duodenum. So, now the these are all the villi. Now, this is your lamina propria where you are able to make out your intestinal glands called as Crypts of Lebercon, similar to our jejunum as well as duodenum. Next, in the lamina propria, we are able to make out numerous lymphatic nodules called as Peyer's patches. Sometimes, if we have more numbers of lymphatic nodules, that may extend into the submucosa also. So, this is your submucosa. So, with the protein contents, you will be having lymphocytes, blood vessels your nerve plexus called as mesonous plexus. Sometimes it may enter into the submucosa also by penetrating the muscularis mucosa. So this is the muscularis mucosa. Already you know that. Mucosa means epithelium, lamina propria and your muscularis mucosa. Now this is the submucosa. Now this is your muscularis externa, that inner circular and outer longitudinal coat in between that muscle fibers you are able to make out that nerve plexus called as myendric nerve plexus next outer to that you will be having thin lining that is serosa so your ileum is completely lined by peritoneum that's why that lining epithelium will be the mesothelium so these are the identification points for ileum so the striking feature is the presence of Bare spaces in the lamina propria. Next, see for the villi. If they are small in number and as uh, uh, sorry, you are less in number, small in size. So that is the identification point of villi. Next, if you see the lining epithelium, the same columnar epithelium will be having with your goblet cells. More number of goblet cells you can make out. So these are the features of ileum. So now we have seen duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The next slide we will see all these three, how to differentiate each. 
so first point you have to see for all the four layers so that is your mucosa submucosa muscularis externa and your <coughs> serosa once if you see all the four layers see for the surface projections so surface projections are there means that is villi that is villi is there so now here also you are able to make out villi here also you are able to make out the villi here also you are able to make out the villi so that means it is small intestine next point what you have to do is concentrate on submucosa so go go for the submucosa if there are presence of numerous glands they are nothing but brenner's glands so the brenner's glands are there means that is the slide of duodenum now you see here so this is the slide of jejunum here the submucosa you are not able to make out any gland so that means that is your jejunum that's what we are differentiating jejunum and your duodenum so next you see for that ileum so in the ileum clearly you are able to make out that lymphatic nodules present in the lamina propria so that is the striking feature of ileum next if you go to the remaining layers your muscularis externa and serosa the features are same only so that's what we have to differentiate duodenum jejunum and ileum so with this ideas you go through these slides thank you students for the silent listening so with these ideas you see these slides so all these points will be useful for identifying this slide and for the discussion during your final examination thank you all the images are taken from d5 atlas